in vitro fertilization or IVF is sort of the ultimate in technology that we have for infertility. Basically what IVF is, is we take an egg and we take a sperm and we put them together in a petri dish. Then um, once fertilization occurs, we start growing the embryo and then that embryo is put into the woman's uterus uh, where it then grows into a baby. That's basically IVF in a nutshell. Now usually the way IVF is done is that a woman is given injectable medications to basically cause what we call super ovulation, where they ovulate a whole bunch of eggs at once. Uh, those eggs are then harvested, and that's done with an office procedure. It's not, not particularly painful. It's done through the vagina, where a little needle is placed through the vagina, and the eggs are basically sucked, uh, sucked out. Uh, and so um, it kind of sounds awful to have a needle in your vagina, but believe me, it's really not, not painful. Uh, those eggs then are taken, um, and they're mixed with the partner's uh, sperm, who provides a sperm specimen, um, in the Petri dish where fertilization occurs. In a case where a woman is not able to produce eggs, donor eggs can be obtained, or in a case where the male is not able to produce sperm, donor sperm can be obtained. So these are all different ways that can be utilized um, to achieve a pregnancy. The reasons that people have IVF, if there's a problem with the fallopian tubes, um, for instance, let's say somebody's had their tubes tied and now they want to have a baby, this is a way to get around the tubal ligation. Or if somebody has really diseased tubes where they're not open or flowing, IVF is a way um, to get around that as well. Um, it can also be done for infertility that can't be explained where nothing else is working. This is generally going to work. IVF is very expensive. Um, the procedure itself um, is expensive, but also the medications that are used um, to make the ovulation um, can also be very expensive. However, uh, it's not so outrageous that it's unapproachable. And many banks will actually give loans, like a car loan, um, that you can uh, get a loan and pay it off over time. And so it's basically not more expensive than, say, buying a car. And if this is the only way you're going to be able to have a baby, that might be worth it um, for you. Uh, it's not particularly painful, but it's very intensive in that uh, you often need to go in every day or every other day for injections, labs, and maybe even ultrasounds, and then you have to have the procedure done to harvest the eggs, and then days later, a procedure done to put the embryo uh, up into uterus. The number of embryos that are placed in the uterus depends on what risk you're willing to take. So sometimes I'll only put one embryo in, um, or maybe two, um, if you're willing to have twins. To put in more than that risks having higher order multiples, triplets, quadruplets, quintuplets, uh, which is really not a good thing because it really puts the pregnancy at risk and you could lose all of them. Now there is um, a procedure that's possible um, in which uh, a re reduction is done. So they put, um, let's say, several eggs in and then they remove um, several of them so that you only have one or two left and so you only have a singleton or twins. But for some women um, that would not want to have that, you have to think carefully about how many eggs are placed. I'm sorry, how many embryos are placed. The more that are placed, the higher your chance of getting a successful pregnancy to a point. So it's something that you want to talk with your reproductive endocrinologist. But these days, uh, pregnancy rates are high enough that they're generally putting just one or two embryos into a woman. Uh, then there has to be hormonal um, uh, support um, once the eggs are put back, uh, and so you be basically be giving hormones, doing frequent ultrasounds until you get out of the first trimester, and then you're pretty much on a safety track. Interestingly, if you look at children of, of women that have IVF, there's no increased risk of birth defects or other problems that way. And for the most part, once you get past the first trimester, pregnancies tend to go just as smoothly as um, pregnancies that are uh, um, spontaneous. Uh, so there's a risk of holding on to that pregnancy at the beginning, but once the pregnancy is established, you're pretty much in good shape. So that's the idea of IVF. It's fairly complicated. It's very technical, um, uh, but it tends to work um, very well in women that otherwise can't get pregnant. MedTwice.com